So we are officially leaving the kingdom. Say bye to your papa. And it's time to move on. So what we need to do is head north and gather some troops. So we'll start up here at Uruk Skala. And let's see what we can recruit. Every journey begins with one step. And every army begins with one soldier. So we're, we're starting with this man. Welcome to the party. Hope you live a long time. And these guys are all tapped out. We are starting to gain some levels. We'll probably do it all at once in a sec. We don't want to slow down our recruitment process here. Uh, these guys are all tapped out. Yeah, another troop. So that's our second one. This is going to take a while. So what we'll probably end up doing in, in the east, I'm not really too concerned. So if this was like a real map, we would consider maybe something like this being Norway and this could be like the Swedish area because Sweden was more or less neutral at that time so Harold had time to travel east and recruit people in the Swedish area so we'll, we'll treat this as like our Sweden so we won't cross this bridge right here and go into the Norwegian territory until we conquer all of this so we need to consolidate the lands then we'll we'll strategize and go for the full conquest here now hopefully there's a little bit left of Batania. looks like they took back Pendrick Castle but everything else is status quo here they're just getting stomped so we're, we're gonna have to figure out what to do after that but you know first thing first let's figure this out so villagers we could attack villagers we could attack an enemy noble which I think would be probably the most fun thing to do but first actually let's let's come up here we'll, we'll take care of this we can hire some troops now, normally these would be mercenaries, but these are actually just low tier because of the way the mod works. So these guys are the Skolder Brodva, and they actually get up to tier six. The really, really strong infantry. And if you look, their skills are all up at about 200. So if you compare that to what our companions are, our companions are higher than that. So heads on, our companions should win that fight. It's it's pretty crazy how, how strong they are. We'll, we'll see in a minute, but let's, uh, what else can we hire here? I think everybody's tapped out. There's never a time where we're gonna skip tournaments. We still wanna keep progressing our, our guys, and it looks like this one is all ours. So yeah, we'll let this, oh, nope, there's one that's not. Wow, actually Trig Trigba beat Magnus in the end in a 1v1. I mean, he was the underdog there. And because he did such a good job, he earned the name H Hunden, which is the hound in Norwegian. So Trygve Hunden, the underdog, but he fights like a dog. So he hit 252. We're going to go ahead and give him sharpen the tip because we're going to be using thrusting more than anything else. And for everybody that hits 200 two-handed, we're going to be giving him the hit points. I think it's a little more important than the damage. And Valdemar also hit 275. So we got two people that are at that now. And also 250. So 250, we're going to be using Ignore Pain, which is going to give 10% more armor. And Magnus actually hit 238, so we're giving him Vandal. This, and I'm, I'm assuming this still works the same. It ignores 25% of the enemy's armor, but it works for all weapons. So I don't think they patched that yet, so that should still be that way. We'll probably be experimenting with him first, using two-handed, because, he, I mean, obviously, he's got the skills for it. And then everybody that gets 225, we're going to give the extra hit points as well. And I did make a mistake here. I, I should have been leaving one point uncapped for throwing, because... 225 we actually get a free focus point through the perk the ai doesn't really kick and they rarely fall so this is kind of a wasted perk but that's fine all right so that's pretty much everybody what we should probably do is top up on food we don't have a ton of it and i think once we start declaring war we're, we're gonna need it so we also can take a few animals we're probably gonna need that to at least speed people up these are really expensive though i don't know that we want to do that and we don't really need any more cargo space so we'll just buy buy the food i think we'll leave it at that and while we're here actually why don't we do this the ai wasn't really using ymir's bane when i was doing some testing so we'll put that on hold make sure we don't sell it or smelt it let's go ahead and give him one of thor's hammer let's see if there's certain ones that are better than others i think these are all pretty much the same we could also do the axe but i just feel like the mace is going to be a little better it's it's slightly longer the axe is going to be really good in sieges because there's a lot of militia that that don't have a ton of armor so it's going to just completely slice through them in one hit whereas this may sometimes take two hits so we'll, we'll see so magnus the beast is getting the first upgrade to the two-handed and why don't we do this let's go ahead and attack this caravan so as soon as we do that, we're not going to actually attack them. We don't need any of that. We just want to go to war with these guys, and we don't have a way of doing it otherwise. So let's go ahead and retreat. It gives us some criminal rating, and more importantly, it only gives us minus 10 relations. So if you attack peasants or, or raid a village, for some reason it gives you more. But we don't really want that. Let's go ahead and convince these guys to give us more troops, because that's what we need. We need more troops. Now, there's 93 people here, but they're all low tier, uh, with, with a few exceptions. There's, what, some Ratnik, Vajki, Ratnik. So these are tier four and tier five. So they're, they're decent, but the vast majority are all very, very low tier, low quality troops. Now, what I'm doing is I'm setting up for the future where we can have more than one infantry groups. So the first four, one through four is going to be all infantry. Five is going to be archers if we ever get them. And six is going to be 
our companions, so the cavalry. And I don't think we're going to be hiring companions. We're just going to keep them mounted, basically. And then we'll dismount them in, in combat as needed. And because we don't want anybody joining the, the main groups, if we, hire, if we have somebody be the captain, they're going to actually go join that group. If we have our main character do it, you know, obviously we don't have to join. But it will still get the bonuses on the troops. So we're going to assign ourselves as the commander there. We can assign somebody else here. I don't know if it actually works, though, because these are companions. This guy's got five perks. Let's just use Valdemar. He'll be the captain of the, uh, of the, the, the cavalry. So let's see what that does. They've got 41 archers, which is a little bit concerning. 51 regular troops. And we've got 10 in our main line. <laughs> And these are mostly tier three, so they're not really the best. But like I said, we've got the companions. Oh, I gotta get, I gotta remember which which one's which. So let's go ahead and have the companions follow. Infantry are gonna move up to a nice safe spot, so they're not getting shot at. Let's move up behind this building. Nice tight formation. Actually, let's just have the cav sit tight for a sec. Let's go beat on this cavalry. I don't know why they have a cav. All right, he wants to charge at us. horse doesn't have a whole lot of armor we can just take him out and he, yeah he took one hit and down okay cab dealt with now we got to figure out how we're going to approach this so let's go ahead and move our infantry up again we'll keep them in in a nice safe spot cab are going to follow us we'll keep our shield up let's kind of see what they do so there they are they're not really oh they are taking shots oh wow their line is is very long, so we can we can definitely rake their their line. Let's get the cab up here. Hold fire. Let's hold fire because I know they're gonna miss a bunch. Actually, before we go before we go in, let's pull back a sec. I want to make our line shorter. So it's gonna be thick. Yeah, not so wide, but very deep. That'll keep our guys from accidentally running into their infantry spear wall. So let's start raking the archers. Gonna get a little bit of damage here and there. Do some stabbing. Oh, we're just gonna have a field day here. And then we'll peel off to the right just in case anybody accidentally gets, you know, sidetracked. We don't want them to sidetrack into the enemy infantry. Alright, so we just took out nine. Didn't take any losses there. Let's do that a couple more times, then I think we'll dismount and just handle it ourselves. Alright, so shields up, and then probably in the next battle or two, we can probably do this and have our, our main infantry line. Oh, somebody's running. Oh, they're all, their archers are all running, all of them. Okay, it's a turkey shoot. Get them, boys, don't let them out. Get that XP. <laughs> oh, man, they broke fast. I mean, I would probably do the same. This would be terrifying getting raided by some Vikings like this. All right, take them out. All right, there we go. They're dealt with. So now we've got to deal with the main infantry troop. Oh, it looks like the main infantry line is pushing forward. Let's go shield wall with our main guys. Let's get our cav up here. If we can distract them, we don't want that whole that whole group charging into our, our group of 10. We only have 10 there. We're, we're going to go ahead and dismount. Let's go ahead and dismount. Soldier! And I noticed that it has been throwing them automatically into the infantry group. So let's just shield wall charge. Get in there. Right, we need to go help our, our infantry over here because they are split in half. All right, let's just wade right into the thick of it. We don't want our boys getting hurt. We need all the troops we can. They're just completely crumbling. I'd be shocked if we lost anybody. And this was 93 people. All right. We need to bring out the big guns. They're taking more than one hit. Man, there's a lot of guys here. This is crazy. They're, I've noticed they are running quite a bit sooner than they would in vanilla. I, I think it might have to do with their, their tier, but it, it might also just be part of the... The rebalancing of the, the the mod. 
Alright, these guys have some decent armor. Is that it? Yeah, there's six people left. We won't spend too much more time. So we got 9.6 per now, so decent battle. Our companions did really well. We didn't lose anybody. And it says somebody ran. Somebody was mentioning that it has to do, it's a bug with who's holding the, the banner. So we'll ignore that. You're not a coward, Ratnik, don't worry. Everybody did pretty well. I'm kind of curious the beast. So he got a little bit of writing, didn't get a kill. But that two-handed mace didn't do anything for him there. But it's kind of hard to say because sometimes you get put in the front of the formation, sometimes you don't. It's, sometimes there's nothing you can really do about it. So let's figure out what troops we want to take. Hiring archers is going to be hard because it's mostly infantry that we'll be running into. Now the Hirdmen men give you two options. You can have an unshielded two-handed or you can have the shield with the javelin. And the Ratnik has only one way to go. And this is, it's going to be a shield, one hand, and a, and a, and a pole arm. So the Hirdmen men also has that, but also a javelin. So I feel like the Hirdmen men is probably going to be a, a more diverse pick. Let's just make sure the stats are good. So two-handed. 125 athletics 150 interesting and then 125 across the board the ratnik gets 125 across the board yeah so I, I, let's stick with the hirdman we don't want to take too many prisoners because we'll get weight weighed down uh, they'll slow us down and also we don't we want to convert these guys fairly quickly if we have too many then it, it, it slows down your uh, any individual one converting into a, a troop so we'll let we'll let the rest go we're not taking any cav interesting loot it doesn't look like there's anything too good in there but we'll probably have some civilian yeah i was gonna say some civilian upgrades not that that matters at this point but more importantly we get nine troops so we went to three villages and got two people we went rated one and we got nine so obviously we'll keep doing that and let's actually upgrade these guys right away we'll stop at the last one so at tier five we'll wait till everybody levels up and then we'll we'll recruit them up to tier six i think that's a good option the reason i wanted i'm not waiting for the whole stack to convert is because one upgrade makes a huge difference in their survival they get really really big jump in, in armor and armor is really important in this mod so that's kind of what we're doing we're deviating a little bit just because of the way the the mod works uh, 200 on, on writing for everybody's going to be Thunderous Charge because they're going to mostly be getting melee. They can't hit squat with their with their javelins anyway, so... Alright, next village. Let's go Visibrot. Now, fortunately, I'm not seeing too many enemy nobles around here, so uh, looks like there's not too many people to recruit here. Actually, there's some. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of cav. We don't really want the cav, though. We do want the Ratnik. So we're still going to go for it. 125 this time, so a little bit more, but we also have more troops on our side. Now, the enemy has three cav this time. And you know what we could do? Let's just get everybody to follow. Let's find a good spot where we're not going to get completely surrounded. I kind of want to dismount right off the start and just see how our, our men fare on the foot. It's a little tough because there are 52 archers. And, and we didn't lose anybody by destroying the archers. So I kind of want to do that first, but let's kind of simulate what a legit battle would look like. Because these these are kind of gimmies. These aren't hard at all. Now, if they dismount, did they immediately come in? Doesn't look like they come in anyways. So dismounting, we still have the balance power in our favor. So obviously they're, they're going to stay. They're just going to stay put. So let's, let's move up. Now, I'd like to get into a nice spot where there's some choke points. So something like this would be really nice to have. There's only a couple of ways they can get in and we can easily plug those holes. Let's go. We can still rake their line with our with our main guy. We don't have to have a whole. I mean, most of the time we do a lot of the damage anyway, so let's just do that. Now, I can't see anything. Ooh, Magnus got a kill. I think maybe their cab charged. Yeah, maybe their cab charged in and he got a kill there. Let's take out some archers. Hopefully we can get them entice them to attack. Right, we're going to go first person here because like I said, it's really hard to see. Oh, okay. Enemy cap coming in. We'll deal with them later. Oh, this is a pretty cool looking perspective, man. Oh, it goes so fast. Reminds me of Star Wars flying through that trench. Yeah, everything happens so fast here. All right, so we're, we're whittling down their line. Looks like 39 people left. Let's go for another run. Alright, we're missing all our spears now. Alright, 39, they're down to 32, so we're knocking about 7 per run. And I think as time goes on, that'll get even higher because we are racking, we're stacking up that charge damage. Alright, hit a shield there. Oh, we didn't do too much there. Right, let's try something a little different this time. We do have that perk that 
causes more morale damage. I can't see anything. There we go. Oh yeah, they're running. They're running. They did not like that maze one bit. All right, we're not going to target too many of these guys. Let's just go. We want to make sure we take out the the high tier guys and hope that they convert as prisoners. Like this guy. We'll let the low tier guys go. Yeah, everybody else. Have fun, guys. Go back to your families. You're going to be paying us taxes soon. Oh, and we got Cab to deal with, but we'll deal with him later. All right, let's move. So we're going to engage. We're going to F1, F4. So they used to be called advance. Now they call it engage. Hold fire! Fire at will! Hold arrow! Fire! Alright, so it looks like we're doing pretty good here. We're not going to in, in, intervene in this at all. I want to see how our guys do. They just completely wiped them out. Alright, let's uh, let's go pick off valuable targets. Like I said, we want to get those those guys that have some decent armor and hopefully they convert us prisoners. Yeah, there we go. Actually, not that one, but we'll take them out anyways. It's the Hirdman that we want. This one right here. There we go. Oh, you killed him. <laughs> well, you can't always get what you want, right? Cowards. All of you. Alright, we'll let him run. The extra kills don't really make a difference for us. So, on foot, our companions did pretty well. Now, the beast got three kills there. But so did Svet Hakkrusen. Oh, first dead. There you go. You jumped in here with one. Nice. And hopefully we can pick up some more. So we got the Ratnik, which we don't want. Actually, we didn't get any of the ones that we wanted. That's fine. Not a big deal. And again, more civilian upgrade for loot. And hopefully it's not a bunch of cab. Nice. Nine more. We're very quickly growing. 54. You know what? One thing I've... Our party size seems a little small. I feel like it should be bigger. And I found exactly why. So Quartermaster is still on us for some reason. So we need First Dead to be there. And then also Hendrik is going to be the engineer. He should have been that way. But... We haven't sieged anything, so it didn't really make a difference. All right, so what does that do to our party? Now, if it doesn't refresh, you have to go to another screen once or twice, and then it'll refresh. So now we're at 205. So we can have over 200 troops here. This is going to be a big difference. Let's keep moving. Now, we're not going to raid the Empire Village because that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. We're at war with one person right now. It's more than enough for us to handle. But we'll take Ratnik. Let's go down here and, and uh, force some recruitment. Yeah, essentially what Harold did when he returned is he, he spent some time rallying, trying to uh, gather people to his cause. And that's essentially what we're doing, either by money in this case, or by force in this case. So either way, it doesn't matter to me. All right, so this one, what we're going to do is we're going to advance our main line. We've got 33 troops in there, which should be more than enough to at least hold the ground. And then we're going to flank around with our cavalry, take out the archers again, and then hopefully sandwich their infantry line and just cause mass panic. We don't need to kill everybody, we just need them to get off the field. So that I, I would rather have less kills and less deaths than more kills and more deaths on our side, if that makes sense. I, we don't really care about killing every single one. Oh, here we go. These guys want a tango. Or whatever the equivalent would be in, in Norwegian. <laughs> yeah, how do they dance in Norway? We need, we need a mace. This thing's not cutting it. Also, we should hold fire because these guys are still not hitting anything. All right, we took out a couple there. Oh, they're actually really close. Okay, so let's set the foot troops up right here. This is a nice, nice area. There's not too many places for them to, um, to flank us. All right, here, here they come right there. Oh, they're still, they're still sending their cab in. So let's, let's deal with these guys before they, I don't think they cause any damage, but. We just don't want them to pester us. All right, Cab, let's go. We're going to flank. The branching guard goes on a flank. Oh, they're archers. What are they doing? Are they pushing in? All right, instead of raking, we're going to just go straight in. All right, as soon as we get enough people here, we're going to have them dismount. Alright, let's dismount. We're all here. Oh, 
Oh man, this is brutal. Oh yeah, we want some of these high tiers. That's what we should be focusing on. We can recruit them later. Well, that guy took three hits. Yeah, you should be joining us. Nice, he's a prisoner. We're gonna advance the soldiers. Oh, looks like a ranging guard got in there anyways. Okay. Line formation. Field wall for the ranging guard. We need our 33 foot troops to catch up. We should probably get in there and do a little bit of havoc. Oh man, they are chewing through them. Look at that, all green. Let's get in there. Boom. <laughs> We're going bowling. Bowling for peasants. Oh, we gotta take out the cab. This is really annoying. Get out of here. Oh, look at these guys. Look at how much armor they have. And we still have uh, one archer back here. The lone archer. The Lushniki. And he's going to be joining us, too. Looks like he's a prisoner. All right, there is two cavalry left. Okay, so let's go deal with these guys. Let's deal with this one guy, rather. Okay, they're all running. We can go shopping now. Let's see if we can pick any of the, um, the Nordmen. That's not the one, but we'll take him anyways. All right, we got a little bit of XP while we're collecting some people. Not too much. <laughs> 37. All right, we lost nobody again. So like I said, these battles are, are, are... They're good practice for us to get used to the tactics. And look at that, the beast consistent with another four. But there's a lot of other people that got kills too. Three, three, three. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see if he took more damage. And if he was even using the two-handed. He might have still been using the one-handed. Because he still has the one-handed. And he also has the pole arm. Now, did we get any good ones? Oh, these we're taking as well. So these guys recruit up to tier four. Tier 6. So these for sure we're taking. And we did get a, a Hirdman. We got some Luchniki. Yeah, we probably should have taken a Ratnik since there's so many more of them, but that's fine. I have a feeling we're not going to have too many issues recruiting people. So Now these guys do go up to 6, so let's go ahead and upgrade them as well as they go. So we've got our first Tier 5, the Skolderbroda Wrecker. Yeah, that's very strong. Yeah, loot doesn't look too good. Uh, we actually got... Wait, weapon? We're not supposed to have any weapons unlocked, so what did you do? Somehow our mace got unlocked, or this guy got unlocked, so let's just lock him back up. Alright, there we go. Emir, Valhalla, and Odin. Perfect. So some decent upgrades on the civilian side. Like I said, we may use that at some point just to kind of roleplay a little bit. We'll see. Another 9. This is really good. Yeah, we'll, we'll have max troops in no time at this pace. And these are really, really good units. I mean, tier 4 with all that armor, I think they'll they'll do pretty well. So we're up to 67 troops. 1750 on the wage. Now you can see why we wanted to save up some, some coin, because this is going to get very expensive. We're going to have 4 times the size of this. So imagine 4 times the wage. Maybe not quite 4 times the wage, because our companions are pretty darn expensive. But it's probably going to be about triple what it is now. We'll take another 3 here. And however many... Ooh, wow. 208. There's a lot here. Here. Okay, they got seven cav. Yeah, they've got some decent troops here, but nonetheless, we're, we're gonna push forward. I'm not too concerned. All right, once again, we're gonna set infantry to go hide somewhere behind a, a house so they don't get smashed, but somewhere where they're not too far away so we're not waiting too long, and then we're gonna go after their cav first. All right, here we go. We're gonna hide behind this Thomas Kincaid house. All right, we need to start off with the mace, actually. All right, so let's get our infantry behind this house. Range and guard are coming. They're just uh, probably held up on a fence or something. You know, the AI. Ooh, knocked him off his horse. And Oh, his shield saved his life. <laughs> oh, here they come. Here's more. All right, let's go ahead and give them the charge so they hopefully engage these guys now that they're in the mix. I just don't want them to get hung up. And I don't want them to charge that infantry line, which they might do. Alright, get rid of that horse so he can't remount. Give this guy a pat on the back. There we go. There's another one down. Alright, we're gonna have them follow again. We don't... Hopefully they didn't go after those infantry. They might have. Oh, that's ours. Yeah, look at that. Some of them were starting to go after the infantry. You idiots. <laughs> Alright, there's one down. Nope. Stars. Who's he thrown at? Man, I it's it's hard to tell because there's a storm going on and also we don't have the bubbles above their uh, their character. Oh man, he got hit so hard. He had a two-handed axe too, that could have hurt. 
Alright. Heal. We should be able to bust through his, his stamina, though. Or just bust through his face. That works, too. So they have one cab left. We're going to go ahead and set up the infantry right back here. Forward! Move! And then afterwards, we're going to go right after their uh, their archers. Let's take out this last cab just so we don't have to deal with them. That'll give our infantry time to move into position. All right, heads up. Oh, swung too early. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. You get so used to the lower levels, and then when you get to the higher levels, you got to readjust. It's like uh, starting over again. All right, one more hit. Finish him off with a spear. Here we go. Okay, so they are pushing in. Infantry, form a shield wall. Shield wall in the infantry. Rider, Let's get our cab in there. We're going to stay back this time. Let's just set their formation up right side of their archers and see what happens. Oh, they're getting crushed. Completely crushed. Let's go ahead and move them further into the line. Let's go over here. We're going to give them the charge command. We're going to couch knights right into the rear of these guys. Okay, that didn't go as, quite as well as I thought. We're, we're getting slowed down because of the weather quite a bit. So that's, that's having an effect. Let's just uh, support the troops. we got to rally them. Come on, boys. Get in there and smack them. Not like I'm doing. I'm missing everything. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. All right, our two-handed mace is, is scaring them off, so that's good. Let's go ahead and give the charge command on everybody now. Oh, here's the Herdmen. These are the guys that we want. Hopefully we can... Alright, we killed one, we captured one. I would just clean house a little bit so we can get some XP. I don't think we have to worry too much about this battle. I think it's pretty much in the bag at this point. Man. Like, hit after hit, we can't miss. There's so many people. It's like, no matter where you swing, you're gonna hit someone. Let's knock this guy down. Right, and the nice thing, we left our, our Vrangian guard mounted, so they're getting some kills too. It's... Oh, who's this? A Ratnik. <laughs> our banner bear. He's getting after it too. Oh, they got some archers. I forgot about the archers, actually. I don't see any of the high tier ones. But these guys are all just garbage. Interesting, I saw somebody pull out a polearm. They, they usually don't use the polearm. While they're mounted, they seem to like the uh, the very, very short one-handed mace. We made it a little longer than the ones they were usually using, so it does help. There's another polearm kill. Interesting. So again, no losses. These are just uh, such easy battles. Especially, this is what happens when you have high-tier troops versus a bunch of low-tier. And if you look at our, our infantry, or actually our ranging guard did extremely well here. I think a lot of these kills are probably hitting people in the back while they run. I don't think this is heads-up battle. I think they did really well chasing people down, so I wouldn't put too much stock into this, but still proud, proud of the boys and Astrid and Helga. Sorry, I forgot we have two now. <laughs> we got two more added to our prisoner list, so not too bad. It's going to take a while to recruit them because we have very low leadership at this point, so it's not really a problem. I think we'll probably end up using them as backups anyways. So a little bit more civilian gear. There we go. Eight this time and one cav. We're not going to take the calves. So we'll, we'll, we'll add eight more to the list. We're pretty close to 100, not too far off. Now, Sabir has 583 defenders, 180 of which are garrison, and the rest are militia. So th the garrison is the only one that gives me a little bit of concern. So three more troops, and then let's go ahead and force recruitment. Now, this one's only 156, and we're going to advance our troops right off the bat. And as soon as they get close, we'll, give, we'll switch over and give the charge command. And again, we're going to go on a wide flank, and we'll take out both the archers and the right flank, or their left flank of the cavalry. And then we'll collapse in on them. All right, here they come anyways. Man, look at that. Face hit right to the head. Only did 22 damage with the polearm, so we got to keep our mace out for these boys. All right, and we're still, we're still about 160, yeah, about 100 meters away. We still have some time to deal with these cab before we got to dismount. All right, we'll, we'll leave them mounted this time, actually, just like we did last. All right, so they're trying to draw us into their main line. We're not going to fall for it. The old Bane retreat. We don't want to fall right into their uh, their main line. However, we will take this guy out. Oh, 373 damage. That guy was armored, too. All right, so there we go. Magnus got him. 
I think I saw him use his one-handed. I gotta check the recording, but I'm pretty sure he didn't have his two-handed mace. So I don't know if he's even used it yet. Kinda hope he was, but we'll see. All right, infantry line is getting close. Let's get into position here. We need to sneak around the back. Alright, let's move these guys in. We'll do a little bit of uh, a little bit of shopping ourselves. Alright, main line gets a charge order and shield wall. Cavalry, let's pull them in closer to the middle. We want to make sure we start taking out a big chunk of their archers. Alright, I did see a, a loss. Somebody went down. I don't think it was one of our guys. Uh, one of our Varangians. I think it was one of our. Uh, lower tier units all right so they're pretty much they're pretty much in flight right now our infantry line is is definitely handling their infantry line yeah 31 guys left let's just give ranging guard can go free roam do what you got to do boys and girl i should just call them vikings do what you got to do vikings do what you do best Right, still a bunch of people fleeing, but I don't think we need to spend any more time with that. Yeah, we did lose a couple of Rutnik there, but we're gonna get more than we lost. We already we got three before the battle, so we're gonna we're already plus one plus whatever we get at the end. So hopefully, here we go. Is the Hirdman and Lushniki? Yep, that's good. And we are. Oh, you know what? I think somehow Trigva got a uh, reset because the lock on his civilian mount was unlocked as well so we don't we don't really want anybody using civilian mounts now but what we will do is we'll lock up all the mounts we don't want to sell any of these because we're going to need the movement speed and they're really expensive i mean we have money but why pay for things that you can take for free right the viking motto right, let's get these gold up there now do we even take damage a couple people took a little bit 55 percent looks like that's the lowest oh no 43 percent not quite down most people didn't really take any damage though